Ahoy there and welcome back to Build with the Boys. I'm Scott and we have got rather excitedly and rather unexpectedly 21, 22, 23 and 24 of the Titanic. We're going to be building issue 21 in this one. Um, and really rather lovely it is too because we are getting a very large chunk of the starboard hull. Uh, so not loads to do. I mean installing the pieces of hull is key, it's relevant. I mean it, it makes a massive impact on the ship. But um, there's not loads to do when it comes to hull pieces. Uh, because this has arrived rather unexpectedly, um, <laughs> I've had bad, I've had ill time to prepare. Um, but that's okay. Um, we, we're gonna, we're gonna get into it. Uh, the other thing I did receive this month um, is the pocket watch. So I've got the Titanic pocket watch. Now, what can I tell you about this pocket watch? It's all right. I mean, it's. <laughs> You know, I mean, does anybody really use pocket watches anymore? Um, apart from, you know, you, you get, you know, Dean from Fitness Fair, so that's just one of the Peaky Blinders on the weekend. Does anybody really, you know, it's nice. I mean, it's it's a, it's a free gift is what it is. The quality is okay. Um, I can't see this this taking much of a beating, to be honest with you. But it's it's a cute thing. It's a cute thing. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't know what I would have preferred. I don't know. I don't know. It's all right. I mean, I'm, I'm ragging on it, but it's nice. It's a nice little thing. But I can't see it lasting very long. But it's it's a cute little thing. It really is. Um, that's enough about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this one. Now, what you're going to need for this one is you need to bring up the bulk of the ship that you've been building. So we're not working on any of these. The superstructure in 21, we are just installing this very large piece of hull section. At the end of this, which will be slightly different, we normally have our Titanic talk. We kind of are, but it's on a different subject. Um, and it's on a subject that's kind of rocked our part work world. Um, now, I have addressed it in multiple other videos that I've done, but I mean, I've, I've tried to do it on each of the, the models that I've I've done. So, because just because you watch Titanic doesn't mean you watch Disney Doll's House, doesn't mean you watch Ecto-1, doesn't mean you watch Iron Man. So, I can at least address the people that are are building this model so they know kind of what's going on and I mean all I can say is what I know but we'll talk about that at the end the more important business is let's get down and build us some ship because uh I've been really looking forward to this one okay so here is everything you get inside pack 21 we get this very large piece of the starboard hull this is the lower part um and we get our two bags of screws so we're getting familiar with these now these are the KMs and the uh the TMs is it IMs KMs and IMs so we're starting to recognize these um, now because this is going into the opposite side of the ship we're gonna have to use the tool um, now you know how I feel about the tool <laughs> if I can find a way of getting around that I'm gonna find a way of getting around it so what we're going to do is gonna fit this piece in and I'm hoping it's gonna go in without too much of a fight <laughs> there you go, there's the famous last word straight away. Right, let's have a look at what we're doing here. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right, straighten this up. There we go. So it will snap and a pop. There we go, right. So that's in. Uh, now what we're going to do is use the three-in-one technique, which I've discussed a, a billion times, but we'll do it a billion one. Uh, we're using three-in-one oil, just a touch of the tip of the screw into the three-in-one oil, and then into our holes, and that's it. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get that all primed up and ready. Let's screw this together and take a look at it. So we've laid it down to put these screws in. Now when I say the three-in-one technique, I have this little ramekin here of three-in-one oil, and this is three-in-one oil. Three-in-one multi oil works on everything it's just a good lubricant for this and all it does is it just eases the transition of these screws because you don't want to fight against them you know um this just makes life so much easier when you do metal into metal and again all i do is it's literally a case of so let me show you i just touch it in that's it so it's just a touch in you're not slathering this thing and all we're certainly not dripping it into the holes and then all we're going to do is we're going to put four of these km screws into place to hold this Hold this section there you go and just the three in one just makes life so much easier uh, you're not fighting against it you're not grinding metal against metal there's no screwing in and screwing back out and blowing swarf off nothing like that 
just a touch of the three in one and it goes in as smooth as you like now again don't go mad because what you don't want is oil stains all over this thing and if you do as i said you just touch it in you won't have that problem but this is remarkable how fast this is growing now i know it might have seemed like slow progress because we were doing you know two at a time for the first what was it eight um but we have started to accelerate and you have to appreciate the fact that we are only on stage 21 at this point which isn't much if you think about it um but we've already got just this massive piece of ship you will notice that i'm using the word ship because there was more than one comment about me referring to the titanic as boat i apologize for that it's a colloquialism um in the same way that i refer to as a palace as the queen's house um <laughs> i can't help it it's just the way i talk um but you know boat ship if you will um, I'm sure I get court martialed from the Navy, which is why I'm not in it. And now some of the time you can't be court martialed from the Navy, I'm sure. Um, right. So that's those ones in. Now what we've got to do next is we have to put in two of the the KM, so these were the IMs, two of the KM screws into here and here. Now uh, this is going to involve using the tool because I can't get a screwdriver in there. So let me grab the tool and let's get this done because the tool takes me ages to use. So I'm trying to get some light on this for you. So it's the smaller of the two tools that you need. So they gave they gave us the the angled screwdriver. It's not that one. It's the it's the Allen key. Now I'm just going to see how this goes because honest badly. <laughs> I absolutely detest using Allen keys. I can't stand it. I never have done. I don't know why. Um, but I just I don't know. I don't have little hands. So when it comes to uh, to Allen key. Uh, bolts in tiny places it's not the easiest thing for me to do but i'm going to try and get this in on film if i can nah it's not happening right so we've got allen key these in with this i'm going to get that done we'll take a look okay so that's now those put in and that was measurable and i know what it is with allen keys you get basically half a turn if you're lucky maybe quarter of a turn then you have to detach it and do it again and just it's just bloody frustrating but that's now in and that is all there is to do in this stage now let's take a look at there we go. So this is where we are. This is what we've now got. So we've now got this section in as well. Uh, now what we need to do is put that section on to complete it. Now that is coming. That's coming in stage 24. Um, but we are moving on to uh, decks and funnels in the next one. But that is, that is it complete. Lovely, right? It's, it's getting some weight now as well. I don't mind telling you this thing is now getting, it's getting heavy. Um, but let's have a chat. So that's it. We're uh, we're done for stage twenty-one. And come on, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this, is, this is getting beautiful. This is a beautiful boat. It's a beautiful ship. Um, it's uh, it's it's really coming on really rather lovely. Uh, this will be. We will have this section in by by the time these four videos are done. Um, I no, I've I've got to share something with you. I've had a I've had a tragedy in my life today. Um, I came home from work, long day at work, lovely surprise of the Titanic, lovely surprise of the pocket watch even, and then my wife said those words to me that I don't think any man wants to hear. She um, looked me in the eye and very sincerely and tenderly said to me, I tidied your build room. I it's like it's 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 like a dagger to the heart <laughs> so she said to me, i'm surprised you can find anything there i can find everything in there if you go back to the beginning of this video where i say the three and one oil i get confused because i'm looking around on my desk where where's my little pot three and one oil um paused when and asked her, she went, i threw that out yeah so there's that um i don't know where the stand for the titanic is that appears to be missing now Ladies, when it comes to tidying, tidying is tidying. Moving stuff, not tidying. I digress. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm a little confused. I'm trying to get this boat to ship to stand at the moment. Um, but that's where we are with my tidy build room. It's looking gorgeous, right? I mean, come on, this is this is starting to look really good. We're about, I'd say, this is a, a good... It's at least a quarter of the ship. 
when we got this put on it's at least a quarter possibly a third it's at least a quarter um and it's looking it's looking gorgeous i don't like using that allen key i hate using that allen key because you're getting quarter of a turn half a turn at best um and it you know it's it's not great uh, that's it for build instructions if you are just sticking around for build instructions um thank you for stopping by please remember to like and subscribe if you're one of the thousands that are watching the titanic but haven't subscribed yet please subscribe it helps us massively we love having you here and we'd like to see you all the way to the journey until we hit that iceberg um but if you're sticking around for the the news the updates and the well as i said we have nothing uh, regards to Titanic history this week, but this is regarding Titanic, and it is uh, something quite dark that's happened in our, uh, our hobby world of part work models, and that is the situation that's happened with Eagle Moss. Now, if you haven't heard um, what's happened with Eagle Moss, not everyone has, uh, Eagle Moss have actually gone into administration. Now, Eagle Moss makes the DeLorean model, the, well, they distribute the De DeLorean model, the Ecto-1 model, the um, the Gone in 60 Seconds Eleanor, the Enterprise D, and the Wooden Titanic. That's why this is relevant. Um, so what's happened to those models? Well, they've all just come to a grinding halt. Um, and whilst the administrators are in, we don't know what happens next. So we don't know if someone's going to buy what's left of Eagle Moss and, and distribute these, these models. We don't know if that's it, if we're not going to see them again from Eagle Moss. Um, but with regards to if you're currently building the wooden Titanic, it stopped. You won't you won't be getting anything anytime soon. Um, I don't know if you're going to get anything again. I don't know how that's going to work. Everything at this point is is kind of rumor and speculation. There there is no official word from from Eagle Moss or the administrators regarding these models. Um, however, as I've discussed on my other videos, these are very popular models. These are very popular licenses. Um, and it would seem very unlikely that in the event that Eagle Moss are gone for good, somebody else wouldn't take up these models. It seems very likely they're going to go elsewhere because uh, Eagle Moss are a distributor. They are not a manufacturer. So another company makes these models and they license it out to Eagle Moss. If Eagle Moss are no more, that license is now free. Um, which means somebody else can take it up. So it wouldn't be surprising to see one of these models end up, at least one of these models end up somewhere else. Now, where that becomes tricky is with any decent company, which Eagle Moss clearly wasn't, uh, they will have their, their plans for the next two, three, four, five years. Um, and it would mean shoehorning in an unexpected model into that, that business plan. It might not be something they want to do, um, but you will see these again. I've I've no doubt in my mind that something as popular as, say, the DeLorean, the Ecto-1, the, the Wooden Titanic, couldn't find a home. I find that impossible to believe. So you're going to see these again. So if you are building the Wooden Titanic, I'm sorry to be the one to, to break this to you. You haven't heard it yet. The likelihood of you getting any more anytime soon is pretty slim. So what does that mean for our Titanic? Nothing. Um, so if you're kind of alarmed by what's happened with Eagle Moss and thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to carry on with this one, Hachette is not Eagle Moss. I mean, they, they could, they're polar opposites. Eagle Moss were flying by the seat of their pants for a very long time, and there were clearly, clearly warning signs, ones that I kind of kick myself for for not um, not noticing sooner. I mean, I, I could give you a laundry list of things going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, dating back about two years where you can go, yeah, that was that was a big red flag. Um, Hasha aren't them. Hasha are humongous. They are an absolute beast. They are one of the biggest publishers in the world. In the world, and the model division of them is just a subsidiary of what they do. So in the unlikely event that the model division starts doing badly, that other divisions could more than prop this up, it's not just going to go under. So you are in very safe hands with Hasha. Um, I would not have said the same thing about Eagle Moss. So this isn't me blowing smoke. This is, I wouldn't have said the same thing about Eagle Moss. I would have said it was unlikely they'd go under because with a subscription model, you can show creditors that you've got, you know, here is a client base. Here are people that are paying us. So month in, month out, providing the goods turn up, we'll get our money. But Eagle Moss just made some very, very odd choices, um, which I, I think stung them. They clearly invested a lot of money into NFTs 
which is, you know, there's a bit of Emperor's New Clothes about those. Um, they've just made some terrible, terrible, terrible choices from the upper management. And the, the, and the most tragic thing is, as sad as it is, that we don't get to build our models. I have seen a lot of Eagle Moss staff on LinkedIn that are now looking for work, that are out of jobs, that were, were very sort of suddenly told, you're out of work. Um, and people have lost their jobs. So as irate as you are, that you don't get to finish your model, you've got a half-built model, you were nearly finished, there are people out there that might not be able to pay the bills next month because of their bad decisions. We, we're we victims of it that we don't get to finish a model. They're victims of it is they now don't have a livelihood because of Eagle Moss's very bad business decisions. So let's have some perspective and let's not aim venom at any of the, um, the Eagle Moss staff. And the important thing is as well um, is if you see people online that, that weren't aware or or whatever, don't don't get into it with them. Don't argue with them. It's it's not worth it. It's not they didn't do this to you. I understand that it's it's right to be angry, but they didn't do this to you. You know, it's they're just venting and, and maybe let them vent. You know, um, so slightly off subject of what we normally do, but I just thought just in case you hadn't heard, um, and I've mentioned it on my other ones. And as I said, just because you watch this doesn't mean you watch Iron Man where it's mentioned on there or you watch Ecto One. But now you know, you, you you know kind of what's going on. When I get more information about Eagle Moss, about what's actually happened, if I get more information about them, I will, of course, let you know. Um, because you might be building one of their models, or, or I don't know. But if you were building the wooden Titanic, and now you're thinking, should I come over to the metal Titanic? 100% yes. This thing's glorious. It's glorious. So don't let that put you down. I know it sucks that you would have invested in that one, and you might have chose that one over this one. Um, and that it doesn't mean you made a bad choice. You didn't know that company was going to do it to you. But if you still want to build a very gorgeous Titanic model, come and join us on this voyage. Um, and we, we'd we love to have you. And you will enjoy making this. That's it for this one. Um, if you haven't yet, as I said, please hit the like button. Helps us a lot. Hitting the subscribe button helps us even more. Thousands of you watch. If you hit the button, you see these as soon as they come through. And we are going all the way to the end on this bad boy. And I can't wait to, I can't wait to see her in all her glory, it's going to be gorgeous. Uh, in issue 22, which is coming up very soon, which I've got right here, I can tell you what we're going to be doing. We're we'll doing windows. So we've got a lot of windows to install. That's going to be interesting. Uh, that's going to be a, a glue job. Glue and tweezers, I think, are going to be the order of business for, uh, for the windows. We've got another LED strip to test and install, and we will be uh, adding funnel to, um, to the officer's quarters. No, we won't. Yes, we will. Officer's quarters. So we'll be adding it to the... No. Grand ballroom. So the grand staircase section. We'll be adding the funnel to that one. Like we did in issue 20. We'll be doing that. But we're, we're doing this to the other section of the, the superstructure that we've got. And adding windows along it. Testing the lights and seeing it all work. So it's kind of a repeat of what we've already done. With the added element of the windows. So that'll be coming up very soon. Because I'm doing that immediately after I finish this one. Moving on to that one. So that will be coming up very soon. So... You won't have long to wait at all for these. Then we'll be doing 23 and 24. I can tell you already in advance what's coming. Those 23 involves a winch, which is going to be fitted into the ship. 24 is another piece of hull, that the, the opposing piece of hull, and an anchor. And the anchor is going to attach to the winch. The winch is uh, clockwork. So you're going to pull the anchor, and the anchor is going to very slowly rise back up. What a gorgeous thing. I didn't know it did that, but it does. So um, that's that's going to be something to look forward to. That'll be coming up in 24. 22 is coming next, which is going to be windows, LEDs, and a bit more funnel. Uh, tune in for that one. Thanks for stopping by in a world where you can be anything at all. Just be nice, and we will see you on the next one.